Will Sarawak report be unblocked? No, no, no. But it's already blocked now. Would it be? It's blocked. Be, it's blocked. Uh, so report is blocked now. Mm -hmm. So you will not be unblocked. No, no, no. At the moment, there's no decision to unblock the mm -hmm. report. No. So was it discussed in the cabinet? This. No, 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 no. Why do you think it should remain um, blocked? I think that very clear. Uh, when uh, when uh, when it was blocked, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the reasons given uh, that you know it was due to national security. Mm -hmm. They published news uh, that actually uh, there is no basis at all. Mm. Uh, documents they use, uh, according to you know sources, according to informations, according to some people, are fabricated mm. and tempered. Mm -hmm. So you can't have that kind of documents to be published, and people will make their judgment based on that kind of documents. So you have to be fair to both sides of the party. Mm -hmm. It's unfair for us, you know, to to make that kind of. Uh, accusation uh, and you know, with we fair the government has set up a committee to handle this matter and let the committee works mm. uh, then see uh, what will be the findings now that you're a minister for the communications and multimedia um, is there any plans to, sh to shut down social media no no such thing no such thing I didn't make a statement there are no such things you know mm -hmm. uh, what we want to do actually we want to you know we want to to upgrade whatever amendments in the next sitting, mm -hmm. ho hopefully in October, to ensure that, you know, uh, we strengthen our, uh, our social media. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we want to make sure that we are able to control mm -hmm. uh, the situations. Mm -hmm. So actually, the, you know, I've been having meetings with uh, MCMC mm -hmm. uh, to study all the proposal mm -hmm. and how, to be how the best to approach it. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you can uh, explain a little bit, define what you mean by... There, 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 there are so many ideas you know, uh, coming in. One of the ideas are to register the online newspapers. It happened oh, okay. in, in, uh, in, in, in Singapore. Uh, uh, we're looking into it. Uh, we are also looking at uh, the power to, you know, to, to block. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, if we feel that you know, uh, it is uh, due to, to the national interest, we're looking around the area. Yeah. Uh, issues such as uh, you say news portals, too many news portals and whatnot. How about issues like uh, pornography? Yeah. Child pornography. Uh, oh yeah, online yeah. Gambling. Yeah. Actually, these issues are not only on because of one MDB. You know, we want to amend not because of only one MDB issue, Sarawak report. No, no, no. It's a comprehensive kind of amendments. You know, uh, when the 1998 this multimedia and communication act was introduced. Mm. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of new developments. Uh, so, you know, we must take that into account. And many countries are doing it. They want to make sure that, you know, the social media will not cause problems to the country. Uh, mm. you know, not only on political, maybe on other issues. So mm. we have to look into it. What is your take on press freedom? Press freedom? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that now we in, uh, in any democratic uh, country, they allow uh, freedoms, but you must take into account what kind of freedoms. So we, you know, we as the nations, we must also take into account various factors, mm. especially our, you know, racial harmony, religious harmony, national unity, and so many things we to take into account. So freedom is just not, you know, you, you are free to do whatever you want to do. So you be careful. Mm. Uh, there is a limitation of freedom, as far as I'm concerned. But to express your views, there are ways how to do it. Uh, that's why you know, all the social media can be used. Uh, to, to express your views, that's why through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you can express your views through all these mechanisms. But my observation, uh, there are certain people, they want to force their views. They can't accept views of other people. This is the problem. Mm. In any mature democratic countries, we have to respect each other. I have my own views, you have your own views. We try to manage our differences, and if we can't manage our differences, at the end of the day, the people will decide when the time comes. Politics, there's an off-season, there's an on-season. Mm -hmm. This is actually off-season. Mm. On-season is during election time. So now what we should do is, for us as a government, our job is to implement whatever we promise to the people through our policies. And for the opposition, they have a role to play. They can give their views, they give their constructive criticisms. It's normal. But they can't force us to accept their views. And we can't force them to accept our views. Mm. That's how the system works. And I think I want to educate you know, uh, this kind of approach 
so that you know we can live in a country where you know we recognize differences but we accept that in these systems the majority rules